Hey, I um, just wanted to do a quick step-by-step uh, -step on how you would take um, a recording that was done in your Google Meet and then be able to edit it with the Screencastify editor. So once you have um, done a recording in Meet, they all end up automatically saved in your Google Drive in a folder called Meet Recordings. So I'm going to go to that folder and I'm going to take the video that I want to edit. I'm going to right click on that video and I'm going to open with and you'll see that one of the options should be the Screencastify video editor and that's assuming that you have used the Screencastify Chrome extension already and you've like signed in with your Google account and you're connected and have been using um, that extension already. So if you haven't set up that Screencastify account make sure that you are signed in um, to that extension. It's the little orange arrow up there. Um, make sure you're logged in with your school account because that's the upgraded account. So then I'm going to choose the Screencastify editor and it's going to pull it right into the editor. Um, and, it, and depending on how long your video is, um, the processing time might be a little long. So you just be a little patient. The, I think the video that I'm pulling in is not very long, but my Wi-Fi connection may be limited. Okay, it looks like they have a new feature in our editor that I don't know about. All right, so here's my video and um, I'm going to use this to kind of spread out my video and just use this to, if you want to cut pieces out, you just kind of go, you play right here, you click the play button. That's right, we, on you'll our see trials, it right there. I'll record them. And then you stop it right where you want to cut it. Let me move myself out of the way of the tools here. So you, you have it right here. Notice there's a yellow box around this video clip. So you put it right where you want it. And you can keep playing it over and over to get right where you want it. And then you're going to hit scissors. And it's going to cut that um, whole big strip in half. And we're not in half. It's just going to cut it in two pieces. And then you'll just keep playing to the point where you want to, to end and that. We'll decide, so I want to cut to there. So, and then I'm going to cut it again. And so this whole piece right here, I want to get rid of. So then you would just hit the trash can and you have now the other two pieces have come together and it would just be um, like a solid. So that's splicing. While I'm here, I'll just show you real quick the, um, the text tool, the text overlay. You just click where you want it, wherever you want that text to show up and then click the T and then you write, um, this is an example, text and you can change the color of the text, you can highlight the text, you can change the, um, the font, you can change the, um, I'm going to highlight that and then you can change the size of it, you can go to the top, you can go to the bottom, you can justify its center or write, and then you can also just space it and return it. You can put it wherever you want to on the page just by playing with it. So there's the text and notice it opened up this box. So it's going to show up if I click a little bit behind it. And then the tip text comes up yeah. for that long to you. And, then, and then it's gone. One to you. So I'm able to change that if I want it to go longer or whatever. All right there. Um, that's, that's what you have. And then when you're done, then you'll export it when you're done editing. And I usually export it to my Google Drive and then it will save in your Screencastify folder of recordings. And it will prompt you to give it a name. So you just name it, whatever you want. You can name it today's date, um, instruction 817, whatever. And then you'll save it and it will be now in your um, Screencastify. And then you can directly upload it to YouTube if that's what you wanna do. So. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope that helps clarify, but it's kind of neat to be able to take meet recordings and edit with our Screencastify editor.